People, my people, now we're about to make the sort of vegan cocktail that um, will basically smash a bad day. We're going to work on the basis that it's a stinking hot day. You've had a tough time of it. You've been out in the sun. You've been working a man's job or a woman's job. Well, damn it, you've just been working in the sun and it's hot and you need something to take the pain away. So what do you do? What you do is use the uh, Brookie Slow Gin which you may realize I was actually going to be stupid enough to put into a sangria. See how that is? This didn't go into a sangria. Red wine did. Why? Because this wonderful Davidson's Club Gin is so wonderful and lush and full of Australian native fruit that, to be honest with you, um, it wouldn't have worked in a sangria. It's just that simple. I tried it neat and went, holy shit, there's a lot happening in this... Um, in this slow gin because it's an S-L-O-W gin because it's not a variety of plum I don't think that the Davidson plum is remotely related to anything rose-like so it's a slow gin as in about as fast as I'm known to be and if you talk to some people that's well they don't call me lightning I'm neither fast nor terribly bright so what I've done is add enough ice cubes the cuppy Sparkling mineral water, with straight in of course, has been in the freezer. Let's just let a whole lot of gas. I'm going to add this in, mix it up. You can see it changing on the peach color. Now, the lovely Sierra Yankee photography gave me some proper um, cocktail making equipment over the Christmas. So thank you, Sally. This is the reason why Uncle Odin loves you the way he does. So. It's ice cold. The cappy is ice cold. There's three ice blocks in this where we... Oh. It's vegan. It's delicious. This is going nowhere near my other arm. Although there should be a black hole up here and it shall vanish and I will ask her about this wonderful um, Rookie's Slow Gin Seltzer. I ain't got told there was no such thing ever happened, existed, because this is delicious. Go and get some. Brookies rate, retails for about 70 bucks in Australia. Um, I got mine out of Uncle Dan's, Dan Murphy's, and, um, well, a copy I got out of my local Woolworths. So about $2.50, $3 a bottle. Either way, great pain remover for one of those horrible, stinking hot summer days that we're having. Mine, you get yours, easy to make. Keep the other half happy, people. Thanks for hitting that subscribe button.